Hi everyone, my name is Caroline and I am a family nurse practitioner and one of the NP instructors here at SMNP Reviews. I spent a couple of years as a urology nurse and I'm so excited to talk with you all about a couple of men's health related exam topics today, particularly involving the prostate. And we are just going to be talking about a few of the basics here, so if you would like to dive deeper into this topic, you should check out one of our review courses. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you can continue to stay up to date on our latest videos. So let's first go back to the basics and talk about what the prostate is. So remember, the prostate is part of the male reproductive system and it helps to make fluid for semen. It surrounds the urethra and is located right in front of the rectum. It is about the size of a walnut and there are several conditions that can affect the prostate. So let's first discuss prostatitis. This is a condition that occurs due to edema of the prostate gland caused by a local bacterial infection. Some presenting symptoms may include pain in the groin, dysuria, frequency, urgency, sometimes even flu-like symptoms. A digital rectal exam or a DRE may reveal a warm, boggy, or even a tender prostate. Those words all remind me of infection and inflammation. And a little exam tip here, I would be absolutely sure to know the digital rectal exam findings for different conditions such as prostatitis, prostate cancer, and BPH, which we cover extensively in our courses. So back to prostatitis. Occasionally, the bacteria could be related to a sexually transmitted infection, so we want to rule this out and treat accordingly. If not, we have a few options for treatment. We could use something like ciprofloxacin, which is Cipro, or we could use trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, also known as Bactrim. NSAIDs are encouraged to help with the pain or fever. Acute prostatitis typically responds quickly to antibiotic treatment. In chronic prostatitis, in which inflammation is minimal, treatment is generally less effective and can require three to four months of therapy. Moving on to prostate cancer. So prostate cancer is one of the most common types of cancer among men, and it can range in severity. Prostate cancer is typically diagnosed after age 50. In addition to advancing age, a family history of prostate cancer is a major risk factor. The digital rectal exam would reveal a painless, fixed nodule or asymmetry of the gland, and an official diagnosis is made by a prostate biopsy. Additionally, we would want to refer to urology for an elevated prostate surface antigen or an irregular digital rectal exam, which may be indicative of this condition. All right, y'all, let's work through a little scenario together. So a 70-year-old patient presents to the clinic with concerns of blood in their semen and trouble emptying their bladder completely. The nurse practitioner performs a digital rectal exam and feels a firm, fixed nodule. It is not causing the patient any pain. So what diagnosis should the nurse practitioner be concerned about? So I want you all to think about the keywords in this question, firm, fixed, and painless. Those words immediately draw your mind to what? You got it, prostate cancer. A painless mass immediately sets off a red flag in my mind. Again, be sure to understand the differences between digital rectal exam results and the three prostate conditions as you study for your boards. And there are several more men's health related topics that you all need to nail down for your exams, but I hope this video helps you grasp the basics of a few of them. If you're interested in learning more about how to pass boards and other men's health topics that affect the reproductive system, definitely check out our review courses. If you're looking for a wonderful free community of students prepping for boards just like you, be sure to check out our Facebook group. These will be linked in the description. And here are our references. Well friends, you all are so close to becoming the real deal NP. Make sure you check out our other videos and we believe that with the right preparation, you all can totally pass your boards. We are all rooting for you here at SMNP Reviews.